Oh, it can hurt to ask. Especially if you're struggling and you go to somebody in authority and you're like, you know, maybe if you do this with me, we'll have more time. Oh, we got this guy over here who doesn't want to do his job. No. Oh, I thought it didn't hurt to ask. Oh, it hurts to ask. Hassan Reddick, put, uh, Hassan Reddick pushes, that aside, pushes that aside and goes up to who? Billy Davis. Yes. Former defensive coordinator of the Chip Kelly era here in Philadelphia. Mr. 3 4 under himself. I've invoked his name from time to time when describing what we could see in the upcoming season, just stylistically, schematically, scheme wise, with this Eagles defense and Jonathan Gannon. I've invoked Billy Davis's name and I felt dirty doing it. But Hassan Reddit comes out and he tells uh, Dave Zingaro, Yeah, I, I wasn't sure of my place. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I went up to Billy Davis and I said, Hey, how about moving me back to edge rusher? How about putting me in, in that position? How about giving me the opportunity to play on the outside and, and go after the quarterback? Because I'm, I'm my best when I'm when I'm playing fast. I reference that quote from Hassan Reddick as well. I'm better when I'm being uh, I'm better when I'm being aggressive. So what does he do? Billy Davis says, uh, "Yes, son, go to the outside and let's see what happens." What's he have? Twenty four sacks over the last two seasons. That's pretty damn good. That wouldn't be the guy that we'd be looking forward to getting here in Philadelphia unless that is what he did. He went up to Billy Davis and said, how about this? He goes out there, 12 and a half sacks two years ago, 11 sacks last year. A first-round pick, not living up to his potential. Goes to a position where he feels a lot more comfortable, isn't afraid to ask. Coaching staff open-minded enough to consider and go, yeah, you know what, let's give it a shot. And there we are. Uh, 23 and a half sacks over the last two seasons. And now that's what he's bringing in here to Philadelphia. Of all the people, I never thought Billy Davis's name would come up in that regard again, but boy, did it. Hassan Reddick is one of the most important pieces to this Billy, uh, oh, geez, to this Jonathan Gannon defense. And a lot of it's uh, thanks to Billy Davis. Never thought I'd say it, but here we are. We all want to see a more aggressive defense. We all want that defense that other offenses are, or the offenses are scared to come in and play. We're ter- we, that's what we want. Ultimately speaking, we didn't see that at all last year. We saw a real uh, caged Fletcher Cox. I'll use that term. We saw a guy that wasn't able to go after the quarterback, wasn't allowed to go after the quarterback. By, by his own admission, wasn't allowed to go in uh, after the quarterback. We saw a defense that was missing one of their best pass rushers in Brandon Graham for the vast majority of the season. We saw a guy like Josh Sweat start to come out of his own a little bit, but when it comes to pressure, that was the guy that probably broke out the most last year. So now that you have two pretty damn good corners that might be able to buy an extra second and allow a little bit more pressure, a little bit more time for that defensive line or maybe even your linebackers to get after the quarterback, maybe even a guy like Hassan Reddick to get after the quarterback as well. Now that he got some pretty good linebackers in there and uh, once again, a well-stocked defensive line, as I've said many times over, I think just by accident, just by winning one-on-one battles, this defense is going to at least appear to be more aggressive. This defense will do, I think, a better job than one of the worst turnover rates in all of the NFL last year. I think they'll do a better job of that, and a lot of that will be good. Hey, look, they got better players. 